On a winter day in Los Angeles, cyclist Damien Kevitt was run down by a hit-and-run driver, which resulted in the amputation of his right leg. He's back on the bike and has turned this tragic event into a movement to battle the hit-and-run epidemic called Finish the Ride. I spoke with Damien near the site of the incident and learned his amazing story. It was um, Sunday, February 17th, about 11.30 in the morning, and uh, my wife and I were actually riding came off the LA River at Zoo Drive. Okay. Some guy in a light-colored minivan decided he wasn't willing to wait and he pulled into oncoming traffic. There was no other cars coming towards him. We collided relatively, not even that badly. I mean, it was, would have been a minor accident had he stopped. I specifically threw myself onto the hood of his car, both intentionally so that he would see me, thinking that you know most sane individuals don't want to hit someone and they're going to stop. He stopped for or slowed down for just a moment, enough that I basically fell forward onto the street in front of the car. He floored it at that point. He literally Jesus. just took off. So he definitely saw you, you're on the hood of his car, you mm -hmm. down in front of his car, and he speeds up. He took off. I was able to move out of the way of the wheels because I was conscious. I wasn't able to move out of the way with my right leg, and he literally ran over my right ankle right at that point in time. So that was the first point where I actually blacked out, and he, when it, he started to crush my right ankle and it, it shattered my right ankle and deboned, like literally fillet of ankle. He continued going. I essentially got trapped underneath his car just past his engine compartment on my back, looking up at the underside of the car, conscious. And I could remember thinking, I'm on the on-ramp to a freeway and he's speeding up and I can feel the road grating at my rear end. I can feel literally like the flesh being torn away and thinking I literally had seconds to live or die. And, and it was a, a definite moment where I was, do I let it go and just let, the, let this life be a wash and go, good, we're done, end? Or do I fight to, to live? And I don't know how many milliseconds that took, but it was a definite, I am not going down with this. When did the idea for Finish the Ride come to you? You know, you're on a horse, you fall off the horse, you get back on. You finish the ride. I mean, it's for no other reason than that. It's just, it's pure principle. So it was just, that was one of those decisions, I'm going to finish the ride. I don't want to be known the rest of my life. Not that anyone would even look down upon me. You know, most people would be like, of course, you would never want to get back on a bicycle after that. I wouldn't. I'm like, no, I'm going to get back on a bicycle and finish the ride. In the hospital, you know, the, really the epidemic of hit and runs hit me. When you actually impact with someone if you have a collision with a bicyclist a pedestrian another car and if you don't stop the, the collision is an accident mm -hmm. no one intends to do that when you run you are now a criminal mm -hmm. that's a crime that's a conscious decision to run you know what I mean that's not an accident that's someone who's being insane and cowardly what's wrong with current hit-and-run legislation in a per high percentage of cases you will literally walk away with a $500 fine and a misdemeanor charge, and that's it. You walk away. And that's it. That's it. Even in some cases, if you've killed a person. So how can people help? Clearly, it's an epidemic. Mm -hmm. Finish the ride is going to be April 27th. The ride starts at basically 8 o'clock. We have a few couple of little you know, celebrity speakers, VIP speakers, and things like that, and then we're going to roll. So it's Sunday morning, April 27th. We need as many people there to make a statement. It's gonna be a, a positive thing that anyone can do to get the streets of Los Angeles safe so that we can have a, a fun and healthy environment to grow up in and to exercise in. No one should have to go through what you went through, but it's, uh, it's wonderful what you've turned it into.